Evangelist Dr. Ezekiel Oludari Falade is the Assistant General Evangelist Crusade and Special Duties of the Gospel Faith Mission International. He was born in Aukure, on the state of Nigeria. While still an undergraduate student, God called him into the ministry with definite instruction to go and deliver his people. He heeded God's instruction and on graduation, he went into full-time ministry. A highly sought-after deliverance minister, Dr. Falade, was awarded Doctor of Divinity in 1996. He is the author of Moving from Nobody to Somebody. Other titles by him are Miracles in Your House, Receiving and Retaining Your Miracle, Dynamics of Divine Intervention, Jehovah Rufek, Breaking the Siege of Life, Grace to Fly High. His wife, Olubumi Bukola, is greatly supportive of her husband in his ever-increasing work of the ministry. The family is blessed with both boys and girls who are God-fearing. Make welcome Evangelist Dr. Ezekiel Oludari Falade. Shall we rise up? Lift all your right hand and pray this prayer. Father, Papa. make tonight my own night. Make tonight my own night of miracle, Lord. In the calendar of eternity, there is always a day of remembrance. Make today a day of remembrance in my life, God. Shall we pray now? In Jesus' name I pray. Almighty oh, God, that, that is, is your name. name. You, will you will never share your glory with anyone. You, you, will, you will, will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. Almighty God, that is your name.
Our Heavenly Father, we bless you today because you are faithful. We bless you because you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end and the first time of the day. We bless you because you are the God of miracle. We bless you for cutting me worthy tonight to preach your word. Father, be magnified in Jesus' name. Father, be magnified in Jesus' name. This was the night that this church has tagged at the night of miracle. This is the night that our Father in the Lord has tagged as the night of miracle. Father, let there be miracles tonight in Jesus' name. Miracle is your business. It's not my business. I commit this business unto you, Lord. That you perform miracles in the life of your people tonight. To the extent that miracles shall lead to everywhere. Father, let it be so in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you have done so. For we are praying in Jesus' name. I want the happiest person in the house to shout the loudest hallelujah. This thing, I said the happiest person. To shout the loudest hallelujah. That is to say your own hallelujah should be louder than everybody's hallelujah. Because by the time you shout the hallelujah, your joy shall be full. You should are the person I'm talking about. Shout hallelujah. Before, before we take our seat, I first of all thank God for this opportunity. Because if not for God, who I am? To so stand before the altar of our Father in the Lord, the general overseer of this church, and preach. And I salute my father and the Lord, the general overseer of this show, for the privilege given to me to be here tonight. It's a man that loves his children. It's a man that God has really used tremendously for me in life. Many years ago, I think about 12 or 12 or 15 years ago, I told us in one of our conventions that there are three people I so much cherish in my life. Apart from the Almighty God, I mentioned his name. My father and the Lord, the general overseer of this show, Pastor Dr. You are being now. And I mentioned. My wife, as well, and my biological mother, who is 96 years old this year, and every night, every day, she prays for me. She prays for me. And one day, our father in the door showed me, show me my name in his diary. Your brother says, we are just discussing. He says, see, I'm praying for you every day. I was very glad that day. When you have people pray for you, many ministers of God here have prayed for me as well. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord will bless every one of us tonight. I salute all the men of God in the house. The executive member, the GGO, the, Gen uh, the general secretary, and every member of the executive. You are wonderful people. I salute you. 
You are doing a great job, and God will preserve you in Jesus' name. In the kingdom of God, we shall be highly rewarded there. If I'm talking to somebody, shout amen to that prayer. Amen. amen. Have your faith, God bless you. The topic given to me to speak upon tonight says, at the name of Jesus, every name shall bow. Yeah. At the name of Jesus, every name shall bow. Every name in the hear, every name in the see, every name on that, every name everywhere. In every knee in heaven shall bow. Every sickness will bow tonight. Every affliction will bow tonight. Every turbulent situation will bow tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because of our time. Uh, the leaders did not just waste time unnecessarily. They did what they're supposed to do. It's always like that today. You know, we are closing tomorrow. May God bless you for your understanding in Jesus' name. Let's all quickly go to the book of Philippians, chapter 2. We read from verse 9 to 11. Philippians chapter 2. We read from 9 to 11. Therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. Jesus is highly exalted. That is given a name, a special name, a name that is not common, a name that he holds by him alone. He gave him a name that at the name of Jesus, every name shall bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth. Every name shall bow tonight. Every situation shall bow tonight. Every problem standing you at face will bow tonight. By the time they hear the name of Jesus, they shall bow. Look up, somebody. Last week, Monday. Not this week, Monday. Because Monday, this week, we are here. Last week, Monday, last week, I was preaching at the convention of CAC, New Jerusalem. And there was a mad man that was brought to the church because his family members heard on the air that I would be coming there to preach. And they brought him. They shame him and they tie him to a, po a pillar in the church. I didn't know. I just discovered that he was not participating in whatever we are doing. So I was, so I said, ah, why is this man not participating? Was at the back. So I was going to him. My interpreter was also following me. And when I got there, I, I was looking at her. I said, you are not participating. His mother said, ah. 
they have they shame him down. Ah, you can see the way he has been shamed. Eh, Apart from the fact that they shame him yeah, and tie him to a, pill, a, pill, a pillar in the church, they use bad luck to pack luck the 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 chain. And somebody was keeping the key. Where the mother said, the mother told me that she is an undergraduate yes, in the university. Yes, attending a private university. He said when in Rama, they have to bring, they have to uh, bring him uh, out of the school. And since then, he could not return to school. I said today, God will do something marvelous in this life. I lay my hand on him. I said, in the name of Jesus. Because at the name of Jesus, happiness shall bow. You insanity, hear the voice of God. Get out from his life in the name of Jesus. The prayer was up to one minute. I don't know you you can know. And they, and they, okay, they are already showing it. Only one few hundred. Glory be to God. Was up to one minute. You you can know. And I said, lose him. But you see they said, no, the key is with somebody. I said, collect the key and open the padlock. They open the padlock. They untie him. I said, follow me now. He started following me immediately. Why they tie him down so that he will not <laughs> scatter the church? Immediately after praying for him, he became calm. And the sanity disappeared immediately. You can see, that is the boy. After the prayer, his mother began to roll on the floor. Can you show the clip? Okay. He knelt down and he started thanking God. That was the end of that insanity. Brother, I prophesy upon you tonight. Today is the end of your trouble in the name of Jesus. Every power that says it will disgrace you, your Father in heaven shall disgrace the power to not in Jesus. Name. Because at the name of Jesus, every name shall bow. Listen to me. Our God is a great God. Where we are talking about miracles, I've seen a lot of miracles. One day I was in my city room in Ibadan. And one of our brothers, brother Ganafu, just for me one morning okay, like, no. from Salvation Army. Okay, no. He said, Daddy, I'm in a place now. Okada hit a young boy and the boy died. They wanted to take the boy to Moshwari. I said, No, let me call my pastor. And I picked the call. Then he narrated the story. I said, what's the name of the boy? He said, Daniel. I said, okay, place the phone on his ear. And I call upon the name of Jesus. Because at the name of Jesus, every name shall bow. I prayed for about one minute. I was expecting something. Suddenly, the boy shouted. And the boy is alive today. In the name of Jesus, every name shall bow in your life. That po poverty will bow tonight. In your life, that incurable sickness shall bow tonight. In your life, that affliction will bow tonight. Because at the name of Jesus, every name shall bow. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. One day, I mean, the, the press 
they interviewed me some time ago. They were asking me some questions. About the question they said, since God has been using you, sir, what is the greatest miracle that you can mention? That is, is the greatest in your ministry. And I referred to one that happened at the Federal Polytechnic. There's one of our brother, brother ADBC. He was a, a student in the, uh, in the Polytechnic then. I do it. I think that brother will be here now. So it's an elder now. I say solo. When I went to his solo some years ago, he even referred to the testimony. I said to me, I see that as the greatest. Because that was the only day that I've seen such a problem in life. What happened as I was preaching? Yeah, it was joint campus of all the students. Just campus fellowship. As I was preaching, the Lord spoke to me that the lady was there. Who had only one breast. That was the day <laughs> heard that somebody can have only one breast. Lord said, you are a lady, you are here, you have only one breast. Lord said, by this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, check your chest. You will see two breasts there. And I made the pronouncement. Everybody just rose up that day and shout hallelujah. We didn't know who is who. Because it was the joint campus fellowship. So everybody went home. The following day, this sister came to share her testimony. What happened? She said when she woke up, the following morning, she looked at her chest and she saw two breasts there. I said, that is the greatest miracle so far that I have seen. That I really, I, I trembled when it happened. Some of you know the brother I'm talking about, the elder. It was uh, with uh, PPS Ibadan before. Ashi, before he went to Lagos. I think it's one of our service in Lagos now. And uh, the BC. It was a student there then. <laughs> I saw it as the greatest miracle. Because that is the first and the last time I will hear that somebody can have one breast. When she was sharing her testimony the following day, he told the intervention of some ushers to take the microphone from her by force. She said she would never undress in the presence of any of her colleagues because of this problem. She will never dress in the presence of any human being. According to her, she said she will use foam and a clothing material to decorate the... <laughs> <laughs> As if breast was there. Because it is a, shame a shameful thing. She will never dress. I said the only people that knew about you were uh, her parents. But when it happened, the whole world knew about it. I pray for somebody here today. The whole world will know about your testimony very, very soon. Because at the name of Jesus, every name shall bow. Jesus is the miracle worker. When people ask me, how, does miracle, how do miracles happen? I say, I don't know. I only watch like any other person too. Help me quickly read from the book of Jeremiah 32. 
7 verse 17 Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 17 Then we later read the verse 27 Yet your eyes and your health are for nothing But your conversions for shedding innocent blood Are practicing Jeremiah Is that Jeremiah 32. 32. I said Jeremiah 32. 32. Jeremiah chapter 32. 32. Jeremiah. Not true, not 32. Jeremiah. Aha. Ha! Lord God. Behold, you have made heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. There is nothing too hard for you. Ah, only one Lord. Wo, you want to do or not? I didn't papare, I didn't Not too hard for our God. Not too hard for you. One day I was preaching in our church in the Bible. In the program that I usually anchor first, second, third. And uh, I just cited somebody with crushes. I said, come. The Lord said, invite her to the front. I invited her to the front. I said, stand there. She stood. Then another instruction. Sister, I told you, are you there? You are there that day. What happened? And your friend, what happened? Don't you remember? I said, come to the front. She, he came to the front. I said, stand here. What did I say you should do? Huh? I said, all oh, the choir members should surround her and the hymn and begin to dance. They started dancing. They danced for about 10 minutes. After the dance, what happened? He started walking. Huh? He started walking that day. He started walking immediately. Yes. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Miracle is not the business of man. It's the business of the Almighty God. Tonight, the Almighty God will settle your own case. Let me read the verse 27. Aha. Behold, I am the Lord. The God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Whoa. I want everybody to answer God. Answer Whoa. God now. God is talking to you. Behold, I am the Lord. The God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? I pray for somebody here tonight. Nothing shall be too hard for God over your case tonight. Oh, another amen from that person. Another amen from that person. Because of our time, because I'm really going to pray for signs and wonders tonight. Let me read, I will skip so many things. Let me read Job 36 11. What does he say? Job, Job 36 11. Job 36 11. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in players, not in pressure. Some people are spending their years in pressure. Though they are children of God, they are born again, but they are spending their days, they are spending their years in pressure. Player is different from pressure. Many children of God are spending their years in pressure. But as from today, you will start spending your years in pleasure. 
But there is a condition attached to it. If you obey and serve him, some children of God, they don't obey God and they don't serve God. That's why they remain where they are. They only go to shore, but they are not really serving God in reality. And that is why the problem persists in their life. That's why it looks as if God does not answer prayers again. Our God answered prayers, but your iniquity can deny you of many miracles. They not allow God to reach you. So that is why I admonish you tonight to overcome sin so that God can answer your prayer. Finally, help me read the Proverbs 16 7. Proverbs 16 7. Proverbs 16-7. Proverbs 16-7. When a man's ways please the Lord, he make it evil his enemies to be at peace with him. He said, when a man's ways, not a man way, not just one way. That is in all your ways. Where you please God. There is a reward for that. And the reward is this. God will even make your enemies to be at peace with you. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Because of our time, let us rise up. We want to pray. You know, I don't usually preach long message. Especially when the time is not there. God will share your story tonight. from where you are to where you are to be. I want another amen from that person. Amen. Amen. At the name of Jesus, every nation bow. Listen to me. There is no situation that God cannot marshal. If you agree with me, shout hallelujah to that. Listen to me before we pray. God can marshal every situation. Many years ago, I heard a Fiji at a church. Our father and the Lord was the pastor in charge. Why pastor Abi was the resident pastor there? Ah, uh, where the Fiji was going now? I saw some. On usual hand. I won't say more than that. I saw some on usual hand. Then I said, You that person that is trying to cause a problem. I give you two minutes. Pack your bag and baggages and leave this hall. I said it the first time. I looked out at there, nobody went out. I said it the second time. I said it the third time. Nobody went out. 
I say, okay, as by God live it. Before you understand, after this Fiji, you are going to carry insanity. And when after the Fiji, I travel to Lagos, immediately I travel to Lagos for a program. When I returned after four or five days, first five they came to my, to my house. He said, Do you know what happened immediately you left? I said, No. Said that woman, you mentioned the other time in the thing. It's now mad, you. We are scripts and used it to rob the body of herself and her husband. We are scripts, pass a scripture. Script, I used it to rob her own body and the body of her own. He said, what do we do about it? I said, nothing. She, you were there when I told her to go home. Because I saw unusual hand. Every unusual hand touching your life. I stand in the name of the Lord. The hand will cripple tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. She continued around the job premises there. After some days, our father in the Lord sent for me. He said, He said, Where? I see what has happened. So I just want to tell you something. If God permits you. I'm not compelling you. That is the way she, he put it. That day. If God allows you to pray for her, because we are also interested in her salvation too. I say, I'm not compelling you. If God allows you to do it, please, you can do that. I say, yes, sir. I went to this woman. As I lay my hand on her, God said, no, don't pray for her. Because she has committed a lot of atrocities. And she had to suffer for it. The way my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do there. She continued the insanity. And I was home one day. Her husband came and one of her children, they came, they started begging. I said, no. My hands are tied. Her husband went to their hometown to inform her parents. And they came. The Baba said, because in those days I was much more younger than this. <laughs> Pastor Akela, you know the you know the story. So I was much more younger than this in those days. So her father came. And look at me. You're the small boy. You made my daughter to be mad. Today, I'm going to lock you up at the, uh, at the police station. Then I smiled. I said, Baba, if you try it, you take me to the police station. If we are stepping the place, I don't know the number of people that have been mad in your family. You have been counting mad people. <laughs> I say, as my God live it, before whom I stand. I did not I did not call myself. I am too much for the enemy to consume. Many people will run mad in your family. I said you can try it. One of them who came with her with uh, with him started talking to her husband. My husband, let us leave this place here. We know the trouble we are battling with. Why are another one to our problem? Let us go. You can see what this man is saying. That's how they left. I think she did insanity for some times. I don't know what has really happened to her at the end of the day. 
I prophesy upon somebody here tonight. Every affliction given you by the enemy will return to the sender tonight. Amen. Amen. At times, as a Christian, you need a little bit of radicality to push whatever you want to push. But because God will support you when you are pursuing a righteous cause. I pray for somebody. After today, you will look for that battle. You no longer see it again in your life. Five minutes prayer. I mean, five prayer points. I want you to pray very well. Lift all your right hand. After shouting, Jesus stay well. You say, My God. Every power staring me at face. Let it bow in the name of Jesus tonight. Shall we pray now? Every power staring me at face. Every power staring me at face. Every power staring me at face. We command you to bow tonight in the name of Jesus. Every power staring me at face. She be in the name of Jesus. Every nation bow. Every power staring me at face. What are you waiting for? At the name of Jesus. Bow before me tonight. Bow before me tonight. Every power staring me at face. Every power that wants to disgrace me. At the name of Jesus. Every nation bow. Bow before me tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. There is a brother. I was with our church. I gave my daily apure some this last month or so. <laughs> and after the administration signed the money, I led them one prayer point. 
I said they should pray. The powers in their father's house. So bow before them. Because when you are able to overcome the powers of your father's house, you have overcome 95% of your problem. And they prayed. After the prayer, a brother, in the short, went to uh, Ondo to see her mom. She said when she got there, he got there. He said he saw <laughs> on the burial ground of his dad. He said he saw one pair of his shoes on the burial ground, which he was using that put it there. And he happened to be the right leg. I don't know whether the brother is here. Is the brother here? If you are here, shout hallelujah. Let me hear. It's not here. All right. So they saw the shoe on the burial ground. Whereas it's not using the shoe in you know, it's using the shoe in Nakure. <laughs> but some powers took it to that place. So when he entered the room, the, the show was not there. But after some time, he looked at the place, he saw the show there. Tonight, lift all your right hand. Your powers of my father's house. What are you waiting for in my life? I command you to bow before me tonight. Shall we pray now? Your powers of my father's house. What are you waiting for in my life? Powers in my father's house. Powers of my father's house. Powers of my father's house. What are you waiting for? You know, you are consumed by fire tonight. 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 Powers of my father's house. What are you waiting for? Tonight you are consumed by fire. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Brother, we thank God for Jesus. If not for Jesus, many people would have died. Enemy would have overpowered many people. If not for Jesus. Many years ago, there was a, a car dealer. He had a lot of cars in his shop, but he could not sell. He's going to almost 30 years now. And I call my friend, the prophet, who preached here yesterday. I said, prophet, this person is close to me. Let us go to his shop and pray. He followed me. We went there together. We pray as we were praying. My friend, they said, Ah, Arakone. Brother. What happened is that money was planted for your sake. Money was planted. If you plant money, does it grow? No. It doesn't germinate. You help somebody and he did that. But go for three days fasting. 
You will see a sign. When you see the sign, tell my friend. Exactly the third day, the person came to me. I began to shout. What happened? It's all physical money on his palm. Like a tiny type of money. <laughs> I started shouting. Then I went to my friend. I said, see what has happened. Brethren, if not for God, a lot of people would have died in ignorance. It remains two prayer points. Lift all your right hand and pray this way. After shouting, Jesus said, well, whatever embargo the enemy has placed on me, that I will not go beyond this height. Father, destroy it tonight in Jesus' name. Shall we pray now? Whatever embargo, Whatever embargo the enemy has placed on me, hear the voice of God. Whatever embargo the enemy has placed on me, what are you waiting for? Be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. Whatever embargo will be destroyed Whatever embargo, what are you waiting for? Be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Finally. Let somebody say finally. Say it louder. You will cry not to heaven. Say, Father. Baba. Let mercy speak for me tonight. Listen to me. Mercy is very, very important. I know she part of the Why? She? Mercy will delete your errors. I know you my share. Why grace will secure your future? Oh, you are going to cry for mercy. Okay, if I know. But me cry for mercy. But I know. And he got it. Oh, the riba. 
Tonight you will cry for mercy, and you two will get it. Hey. If I'm talking to you, shout hallelujah. Father, let mercy intervene in my case tonight. Let mercy speak on my life tonight. Let mercy share my situation tonight. That is the last prayer for now. Shall we pray now? Let mercy. Let mercy plead my cause tonight. Let mercy plead my cause tonight. Let mercy remove my shame tonight. Let mercy speak for me tonight, Lord. Father, let mercy visit me tonight. Let mercy remove my shame tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. God is visiting some people as I'm talking now. I heard the voice of God is said tonight, I will write the story of some people here. Amen. Amen. Pastor Abiyo, are you there? Pastor Abiyo, are you there for more? Okay, come. A brother gave a testimony when I was with you in your church. Sometimes it was in the last month or two months, I've forgotten because I visit almost every week. Concerning, as a pub, okay, you know the brother. What happened? Mama gbe wa si ago ajo nitori ko ni ipa nigba to wa ni kekere pe sukutu meta lo ma nwo ka won obi ma ba mo ojo kan ti asiri yen tu ti won ri pe o ni ipa ni mama wa ni oke boya won fe lo si operation 
no mani ra ko je kwa lo se ago ajo bi won se minister lo wa bai olohun ri pe kini kan bere si ni ra un lepon ta to ma ta ma fi pare adura lojo yen pe ipa yen ti ko ra o ti gbe yawo o si ti bi mo a brother had swollen scrotum and it, it was to be operated upon but he was brought to the convention and while the man of God was ministry, suddenly he discovered that the swollen disappeared. Right now, the man is married with children. Just one minute prayer. Address you call. Remove the path forever. I pray for you tonight. No matter the magnitude of your problem, you shall see it no more after tonight. Amen. It was in the convention here where I was preaching, one of the conventions. That is happened to him. So the place became very hot. By the time he got home, he just shake the place. Oh, yare wo. The thing has disappeared. Just like that. Could if God know? can settle the case of that man in convention, he can settle your own case in convention too. Yeah. Lift up your hands. Father, I speak with your blood upon this hand. I speak with your blood upon this hand. I speak with your blood upon this hand. In the name of Jesus. Lay the hand upon where you have any problem. Just lay your hand there. I should lay your hand there be the inspector. Because immediately after the prayer, you will no longer sit there again. Oh, if you are deaf, your ear shall be open. If you can't walk immediately after the prayer, rise and begin to walk. Whatever is the problem you are having, it shall disappear tonight. You to remember, also I'm covered now, the one we heard here before the last. I was a woman with crushes here. Lord said, go to her, break upon her three times. She was standing there. I went to her, I break upon her three times. I said, Mama, you can walk it now. Instead of her to walk, it started on it. They call her to the stage here in the presence of many of you here. For Babasosa, who took the, the testimony that day. Babasosa asked her to walk. Instead of her to walk, it started on it. Brethren, this God is still alive up to today. I want you to pray this prayer. Maybe your own it's epilepsy. Oh, well, thank you, Father. There is somebody here. You and came with epilepsy. That's what I'm hearing you. right now. You came with epilepsy. Thus says the Lord. And from now, the battle is over in your life. People of God, this case is very peculiar because this person is sham with that epilepsy. That is not how you were born. It was the work of the enemy. Uh, the person will become unconscious as I'm talking. I shall help me to bring out the person. Quickly. If the person falls around you, let the ushers know immediately. I speak to you, that person. You were not born with epilepsy. But the wicked people said that is how you will die. But don't say to your God. Hear the voice of God. That epilepsy is so bad in the name of Jesus. If you see anybody like that on the floor around you, just wave your hand. 
the person will not be able to be on her feet anymore. So the person let me look around. Let me look. If there's somebody, see somebody on the floor around you. Just wave your hand like this. Then the will come and take care of that person. Wave your hand. Let me see the hand. Wave it very well. Aha, that is the person over there. I release you from that epilepsy now in the name of Jesus. I bind that spirit of epilepsy now in your life. I stop you totally in the name of Jesus. Bring the person to this place. Yeah, the, the floor here. By the time you will wake up, that will be the end of that epilepsy. I'm still praying for the rest of you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lay your hand there. Lay your hand upon where you have that I'm praying. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name that's above all other names. I stand in your holy name to pray for this your children tonight. Every affliction disappear now in the name of Jesus. Every affliction go now in the name of Jesus. Epilepsy, go now in the name of Jesus. Asthma, go now in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of the Almighty God from the head to toe. Every sickness, go now in the name of Jesus. Every head of the enemy, he had the voice of God. Go now, in the name of Jesus. Tuberculosis. Go now, in the name of Jesus. There is somebody here. God is changing your kidney now. All you know is that you have very sharp pain in your stomach. This is an attack. I command. The Bible says it's a, it's a sort of that that the Son of Man came in order to destroy the work of the devil. Go you that work of the devil. Go now in the name of Jesus. My great headache. Go now in the name of Jesus. Tuberculosis. Go now in the name of Jesus. I pray. Mobadura. Cripple. Bobo Ayaro. He had the word of God. Barolua. He had the word of God. Barolua. I said the third time. He had the word of God. Rise now and walk in the name of Jesus. If there's anybody that have that problem, you couldn't walk. You are working with crushes. At the name of Jesus, all they shall bow. Raise up your precious now, begin to walk. Come out now. Raise up that's your crushes. 
okay. I began to come out. Receive your healing now in the name of Jesus. I was a rabbi in your God, Jesus. Yeah, rest it up and move out. I come with your cross. They get to walk now My in the name of Jesus. Walk now in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, if you keep it wherever you are, if you keep it they get to walk now My in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Aha, they get to walk, walk, My walk, 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 Work very well in the name money, of Jesus. Money, 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 money. Aha. Money. 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 Work. Work. Money. Work. Work. Money. Work. Today money. is your day. Oh, Enemy has tied you down unnecessarily. Enemy has tied you down unnecessarily. Enemy has tied you down unnecessarily. On that swear money. Shall Balloni, or no Sapeco man, or your man, that their man, ever says you should be walking. Beg your Yakoma Sire, lift up your crutches and ah, what's your head to ah, yes, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, Jesus Christi, oh, Jesus, Jesus Christi, oh, Jesus, Jesus Christi, shall we clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. I decree every sickness hear the voice of God go now in the name of Jesus there are four people here who are attacking the breast The enemy attack your brain with sickness. Incurable disease. I want that fear. I said, you go, 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 come, Hear the voice of God. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. I was surrounded by the Lord Jesus. Shake it out. Aha. Mari, 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 mari. Walk, 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 walk. Mari, 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 mari. Walk, walk, walk. Mari, mari, mari. Walk, walk, walk. Mari, mari, mari. Walk, walk, walk. Put your hands together for the King of Kings. Put your hands together for I shall die. Today is your own day. Not even tomorrow. This I decree every sickness. Where are those people who are attacking the breast? I want you one bar for any one more. I heard that you have been healed now. Oti ba was on li ala ye. When you want to wear some, God has healed you. Check your breast now. Wo amu na ba ye. That problem has disappeared there. Check it, touch it, touch it. Where are you? Wave your hand. Let me see your hand. It's okay. Run, 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 run to this place. Run, 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 run. I command. Those breath receive in the name of Jesus. That was on your record, Jesus. Come out quickly. Come out quickly. Come out quickly. Before I hand over to the G, uh, the deputy general of Asia. Oh, we just take few testimony and pray for you, and you all shall be well. The lump in your Where is that woman? 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 The lump in your breast. Where is that woman? God, ah, come, come, come. I'm the seven now. The Sabbath has gone. My bonny be my dear Joseph. You don't pray for them and close the meeting. My bonny be. Can you see those who could not walk before they are walking right now? Lift up your hand and shout hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The power of God is still at work everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Raise up your hand right now. The miracle have just started. 
Even as you go home, begin to check your body. You will discover the sickness is gone. And you will never see them again. Father, I pray for those who have received their miracles. It is permanent now. Your healing, your deliverance, your miracle. It's permanent now. The miracle is irreversible. You cannot go back to your former position. You have started working, you begin to work, you continue to work, and you will never be lame, you will never be, you will never uh, 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 be paralyzed again. You will walk uprightly. Your bones shall be straightened. Your bones shall receive life now. As you continue to work, it shall become stronger and stronger. Receive it now. Every healing, kidney, liver, every, every organ that has been replaced, it is permanent. You also, you cancer that have disappeared, you will not come back again. You demon that have gone out, you will not return again in the name of Jesus. Every miracle is perfected, it's permanent. It's total. It's complete. You will no longer experience the problem again. Thank you, Father. Lord, everyone that is still expecting, they have not yet seen physically what you have done. As they go home tonight, before they get to their place of sleep, let there be physical manifestation. Let there be physical confirmation. Let what they have what you have done become evident. As you go, your miracle is perfect. Everybody say thank you, Jesus. If you believe God has taught you, say thank you, Jesus. Those of you are in front, begin to thank God. Say thank you, Jesus. Say, I am healed. 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 Say, say, I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. As you are saying it, it is perfected. It is done. The Lord has done it. You are no longer the same. Glory be to God. Come and put your hands.